How's it going tonight, guys? Back here on Greg Tech 5. Finally. And I've been doing a little bit of work the last few days. Setting up this little monstrosity of a contraption. Not as uh, contained as I had it before with the tower thing that I had on the server. Well, basically all my barrels here put out all my different sulfuric fuels and then those are each piped into here I have one for each on either side here and I'm gonna have it output the fluid to the top and I'm making some more pipe right now to do it I was short one so I had to use a tiny one here once I get that empty I'll replace it with a regular one but I'm gonna run the fuel and stuff like that right out the top and I need to make some railcraft tanks to store this stuff in and then I'm gonna use conveyors on the back that'll pull all of the uh, hydrogen sulfide cells out and those are all going to run to a uh, chemical reactor this one up here is currently set to do it but I gotta get this out of here I need to make a uh, pipes that run over to my uh, tank that I have up here that's holding my hydrochloric acid and then that's going to end up getting electrolyzed to make more hydrogen eventually once that tank gets full and I also have a tank outside that's full I might actually have to upgrade that tank uh, I don't need that much hydrogen at the moment I know I will eventually I've got two million already stored up in there I had to move this big boy which I'll just run a wire over here for it and that's going to end up being used for the heavy fuel unless I make that new super fuel stuff which I haven't looked too much into but I was looking in here and this came out in the last update where you can put a block of coal coke super fuel binder and heavy fuel and you get solid super fuel and then I do believe that just burns as a fuel so you can burn it in boilers or whatever you like and this binder is just sulfur wood pulp and creosote oil and I have tons of all of that so and you get 12 of them so it won't be a big deal making that so I might look into that but if I do then I'm gonna need to make me a boiler to burn that stuff in because right now my main power is coming either from my wind turbine up there which I don't even think it has a turbine on it at the moment oh yeah it does and my biodiesel from immersive engineering over here is where the rest of the power is coming from but I also did an update to the pack I haven't gone through and updated everything in it but I did add one mod well two mods actually 
the one mod I added, which is Ender.io, was only really added because of the other one. Um, I'm not planning on going through and changing any of the recipes in here. Uh, I am going to, like currently I think the machine casing is still set for uh, taking regular steel or regular iron and I'm going to set it in the config to take steel and I'm going to set this to hard where it takes I think ingots there um, that's the only two changes that I'm really going to make to it but the main reason why this was added is because of the other mod that was added and that is one that I was given to check out and apparently doesn't want to show up that way but it's called GT++ it's a add-on for Greg Tech 5 and it adds a lot of different multi-blocks there's a uh, macerator I do believe it's called a stack so I'm guessing it does stacks of things I haven't checked any of this out but there's an industrial industrial maceration stack controller for some reason they don't have recipes yet um, and I thought they were supposed to so I'm checking with the mod maker about it and I'm going to do tutorials for it when I get it made but it uses these maceration stack casings to make it there's also a electrolyzer which is this right here the industrial electrolyzer and it uses uh, there's special casings for it as well let's see dun, dun, dun. electrolyzer casing let's see if I can find it here I was thinking it was the pink one it should look just like the old chrome casings dun, 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 dun. for some reason I'm not seeing it right now but uh, it doesn't have a recipe right now either so it's not a real big deal right here's the facades for it there's the casing which doesn't have a recipe either and then there's also the matter fabricator and this is the matter fabricator casing this is the CPU for it and this is a pretty good size it's five by four by five and like I said it doesn't have recipes either but they look kinda cool there is a wiring one as well Let's see if I can find it I haven't actually looked this one up. There's the wiring factory casing. And. Huh. Figured the wire factory would be right with the casing. But I just got the mod just started checking it out today haven't gotten to look at too much of it 
There is a lot of other things in it, though. Uh, the reason why I added it, or ended I added Ender IO, is because it adds these rotors. You have a energetic alloy, which is from Ender IO rotor. You also have the vibrant alloy rotor and it also adds a tungsten steel rotor and an iridium rotor now the guy that makes this pack does not like the recipes having the added screws and things so that's why they don't require them but I wanted to try out some of these rotors, see how they work. So I added Ender IO. Also, they don't have recipes. It doesn't break anything if you don't have Ender IO. I uh, actually loaded it up without Ender IO first, and they just don't have recipes. Um, it also adds some frames. So if you don't have extra bees, you can have the frames that you would have with extra bees, like the chocolate frames. I can look them up this way a lot easier. But like the soul frame from extra bees here, the chocolate, the resistant healing those are all also added down here now nova frame i'm guessing that is dungeon loot because you can't craft it same with the void unless you know there's a magic mod that you have to have for for making them because i don't have magic mods in here but you also have an accelerated frame which is flux electrum rods and electrum foil you have your healing frame which is the same exact recipe your chocolate frame your soul frame mutagen frame which is 238 rods and long rods 235 foil restraining frame with just iron bars and then working frame again does not have a recipe so I'm guessing it's either a magic mod required thing or it is uh, dungeon loot I'm trying to think of what the other thing is oh um, there is a coke oven that would be this thing right here industrial coke oven if you have railcraft installed, you can use cobalt and data control circuits, HV machine casings, and some cobalt, and make you an industrial coke oven. And it uses these heat proof coke oven casings, which is basically just steel and a steel gearbox. There are also these structural casings, but I don't see where this says it needs the structural casing so I'm not quite sure what that is I need to talk to a Blancus, I think his name is I know him as some dude in a tree um, from the Greg Tech dev channel and I also need to ask him about these heat resistance rather than the heat proof if that's something that's going to be used later or what but I think this is going to be the first one that I actually make because I have all the stuff to make it and I have recipes but there's a lot of other little stuff in here like it adds all the different pumps which I do believe these are now added by Greg Tech 5.9 so not really a big deal to need them but they're here if you want to use 
these recipes because I don't know how they're going to be different from the Greg Tech 5 but they're there uh, let's see and then there's all your different components for ZU ZPM LUV UV and max there's an extruder shape this is for making your shafts for your tungsten and iridium and the ender IO stuff so you're gonna need dark iron plates which I'm gonna have to tweak this because I don't have dark iron because I don't have factorization in here so I'll have to tweak this to take steel or something like that might use tungsten steel um, this is basically this add-on is basically made for his mod pack so little tweaks here and there will be needed but not a big deal um, there's these dual sodium batteries which are nice make sodium batteries batteries a little bit uh, better to use because sodium batteries are so freaking small and again don't have a recipe probably because there's a mod I don't have but I'm gonna find out exactly what they are and uh, or what the issue is exactly and this is just gonna kind of be a, a update in progress you know I'll update you guys as we get different things there's this blood steel and this battery alloy I'm not sure why for the the new battery alloy I have to ask him about that as well there's a tree feller and a cobblestone breaker tools I need to check them out because I haven't checked those out as well let's see if we can find this thing there it is so it needs the stave alloy ingots stave alloy plates tungsten rods two hammers a wrench and a set of files to make this stuff here I can't make because I don't know what it needs to make it but apparently I don't have it um, there is a like I said his own personal mod pack that is on the Technic launcher and there's a server that goes along with it as well that you can it's a whitelist server so if you want to check it out you could uh, get a hold of him there's information on there oh there's a tunnel digger as well um, I'll try to remember to put the address for that in the description and you can go and check out that mod pack try to check this stuff out as it shows up in the mod pack there are also one of the things that I think is a really good idea is the buffers that it adds and that are these right here these are ultra low voltage all the way up to max voltage energy buffers so they will hold your power just like a regular IC2 rather than having to have the batteries in them they are made with these battery cores this is the low voltage one that just uses a battery tin cables circuits and tin cells that makes the core for it and then you throw that with 
your tin wire, two more circuits, LV machine, or three more circuits, LV machine casing, and that gives you your low voltage energy buffer. Now, personally for me, this thing holds, is that 8 million EU? I would make these buffer cores use more batteries or even better batteries to show it holding this much rather than circuits or wires or something, but it's not my mod, so as it is what it is. But I think those are really nice. Um, I think they'll agree with like computer craft and open computers a little bit better for being able to read the power that's in them. Because I know sometimes some of those have issues with reading the batteries that are in there and the buffer itself because the buffer has its own. So I want to give those a try. Also, I want to see if they're portable, if you can move them around without them losing their power or if they lose a little bit when you pick them up. But it looks like a really neat add-on mod for GT5. So I'm going to give it a try. So I'll be looking for some of that in the upcoming episodes testing things out with it and I'm also going to get try to get this thing done and I have some actual fuel made oh, wait a minute where's the fuel one there's a the fuel one I got light fuel made so that means that I can fuel up my rocket and head my butt off to the moon soon I've had a lot of people asking about the Greg Tech 5 pack, thinking that it was dead or that I had stopped the series or whatever. And I just been really busy with Greg Tech 6 and all the updates that's coming out with it and playing on the Greg Tech 6 server. And there hadn't been any updates here in a while. And I kind of got frustrated with the way that I built this thing and it not working quite the way I wanted it to. So I just kind of took a break. The series isn't over by any means. So if uh, just give me time to kind of take a break on it. I'll try to put out a video every now and then from here, especially now that I've got this finally about set up. But once I get all the things worked out with Ablancus, I want to do a mod spotlight for his mod. And I also want to take a look at his mod pack there is a few mods in there that I personally wouldn't play with um, it's got witchery blood magic things like that in there that I don't personally use um, if I ever did like a single player with it I would uh, remove them uh, I talked to him about it and he said that the only cross magic detect type of thing that there was is for ender storage. You have to use Thumbcraft to make the ender tank, the ender pouch, and the ender chest from ender storage, um, which is no big deal for me because I don't even use those in this one. If I did use them in that one, I just changed the script myself. Um, but other than that, you know, and the 
main thing with that is he kind of has his own Greg Tech 5 as well, where it has a lot of the newer uh, multi blocks. He basically has taken Bloody's uh, 5.09 and removed some of the nerfs, like the rotors needing screws. And I think not being able to automate the uh, boilers. Little things like that that I've overheard him talking about. So I want to take kind of a look at it. Show you guys his pack. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a full uh, playthrough on it or not. Because having two Greg Tech 5 series would be kind of a pain in the butt. But I may go on the uh, server even though I don't want anything to do with the magic stuff and kind of take a look at it there I'm not real sure how I'm going to do it but I'm going to take a look at it one way or another whether it's in single player or on the server but this is just your basic little update of what I've been doing Hopefully after this long weekend of heat that we're supposed to be having this weekend, I'll be able to uh, get on here and load some fuel on the old rocket and take off to space. Since I've been trying to get to space forever in this pack, and it will be the first time that I've ever lo launched a rocket so I've never done it before never been to the moon so and like you know with everything else I'm not doing any creative testing to see how it works I'm just gonna put it in there and go so if you'd like to see me uh, have my first ever Galacticraft launch be looking for that uh, anyways I'm gonna end this here y'all have a good one hope you enjoyed um, I did update this pack to or upload this pack to the Technic launcher I'm gonna try to put the link in the thing so if you'd like to check out the new mod you can check it out in there, or you can check out his pack, which I'm also going to link in the description. So both of them will be in there, along with the uh, address for his uh, website to his uh, server. If anybody would like to apply for the whitelist, go for it. And if you do apply... Let him know where you heard about it from. That uh, way he knows that you uh, seen it here. Not that I'm going to get anything for it, but you know it's always nice to let people know why you're applying, where you heard from it. So, have a good one. Take it easy. See you in the next one.